Okay, so here's how you change colors of an object. Um, I've already shown you guys how you can paint an object by clicking on the paint can up here and then clicking on the object. And um, as long as it's centered all the way, sorry, as long as it's um, there's no openings, it'll kind of fill in the center of whatever it is that you click on. Well, another thing you can do is let's say that you want to, I don't know, change the color of this hexagon right here. Well, over here you click on where this letter A is, open that up, and these are kind of your fill effects. Um, if you just want to do a solid fill, uh, let me move that over here that way you guys can see it. If you just want to do a solid fill, which means, you know, you just fill it with a regular color, like you're just dropping a paint can in there, I uh, just click the color you want, and when you click on it, it'll change that color for you. If you want it to be gradient, so it kind of, you know, fades from one color to the next, you just kind of pick the colors that you want. So there's red to um, purple, or I'm not, I'm no good with colors. So <laughs> there you go. That's one way of doing it. Or you can do patterns as well, if you know, if you want to have fun with it like that. Or even you can add an image if you want. So if you have an image of, you know, if you want to fill this hexagon with the image of ducks, go ahead. Whatever it is. Um, but you can also, if you click on the paint can, you can set up the paint can to be whatever you want to. So if you want, let's see, make it solid fill, if you want the paint can to always, when you click on it with that, if you always want it to be, um, say, a pattern fill, you always want it to be um, these lines right here. Well, I'm on the paint can, I've clicked right there. Now anytime I click on these shapes, it'll fill it with that um, image that was on the paint can. Now, let's say that you've got some text or some ink or whatever that you want to change the color of. So here's says changing colors. I'm going to highlight that just for fun. Let's spin it around once. I'm going to go over here to where this letter A is, click that again, and I'm going to go to sorry line style and let's make it, I don't know, let's go with auburn colors. We're going to go orange. There you go. So that's how you do it. I think you can even highlight a bunch at once and change them all the same time. There you go. All right, so that's how you kind of change colors of different objects.